While there is no one single solution to meeting the goal of net zero, putting a price on carbon is key to drive technological and behavioural innovation necessary to address climate change. Global trading platform ICE enables companies to reduce greenhouse gas emissions cost effectively and hedge their carbon price risk. A reporter went to meet them to talk about how this works. Cutting carbon emissions and reaching net zero to limit global warming is a challenge. But Intercontinental Exchange, known as ICE, believes the only way to achieve that goal is via emissions trading. As a global operator of energy markets, ICE understands how markets can facilitate energy transition efficiently, as its managing director of utility markets, Gordon Bennett, explains. ICE is a global network of exchanges and clearinghouses, technology and data services. So we're this one big valuation engine and the world's driven by economics. So you need to know the value of energy, environmentals, interest rates and so forth. And so we are effectively the energy transition facilitator. Net zero is only achievable by applying market-based mechanisms, by knowing the cost of pollution, and by knowing the value of green attributes. There's, there's no other way to do it. Green energy is typically more expensive because it's newer technology and therefore there's a premium to generating green energy. So it's important that we effectively erode that green premium to incentivize investment in cleaner technologies. And the way we do that is by valuing externalities. So we can make green energy more valuable by applying a value to a positive attribute of generating green electricity, or we can make the competing fuel, the dirtier fuel, more expensive by applying the cost of pollution, a negative externality. And by, by doing that, we're effectively eroding the green premium and incentivizing investment in cleaner technologies. Professor of Business Economics at Cambridge Judge Business School, Michael Pollitt, believes there's only one solution to climate change. As an economist, you get a bit frustrated at people telling you they don't really know what the solution to climate change policy is. Economists have known this solution for decades, that if you want to control an environmental pollutant, all you have to do is set the pathway of the quantities down to whatever level you want to reach and then allow the permits for that pollution to be traded. Economists know what the policy solution to getting to net zero is. It's good to see governments beginning to recognise that and it'd be great to see you know, wider society and all the people who say they're concerned about doing something about climate change, realising this is the only policy that looks like it will work. The great thing that seems to be happening with carbon markets is that we're seeing the gradual extension of carbon markets across the world and what we're seeing is the emergence of a club of nations which are committed to net zero and are committed to using carbon markets to help themselves achieve it and it would be great to see more countries and more regions in the world joining that club and see it expanding so that eventually we get close to covering all the emissions in the world with carbon markets and actually having policies which add up at the global level to achieving net zero. ICE is definitely helping to do that with 95 out of every 100 carbon trades in the world trading on ICE. We have the largest network of access to energy and environmental products. So if you want to determine value in any global energy benchmark or environmental attribute, then ICE is the place to, to come and determine that value.